gaming and learning were never meant to be mixed. But some corporations such as Microsoft try anyways. Minecraft educational mode is designed to teach kids on topics such as, history, biology, architecture, literature, and chemistry, which is one of the hardest subjects in the multiverse. While Minecraft makes chemistry look like it's just combining a bunch of building blocks to make magic hoogly doogly, real life chemistry is far beyond anything in Minecraft. Which begs the question, just how educational is educational Minecraft? And can educational Minecraft help me pass chemistry? And other questions related to education addition that we will answer. Important announcement. A man known as Single sponsored this video. Shout out to Single for this idea. After locating the test known as the chemistry test on the internet, we found a basic one which was on the same level as Minecraft Education Edition. How the testing works is that I will be showing my work in Minecraft, and Single will be assisting me in passing this insane test. It is also not an open book test so we can only use Minecraft resources to find out the answer. At the end we will score the test and see if Minecraft Educational Edition actually gives knowledge about the real world. With the rules out of the way, it is time to begin the test. These first three questions were straightforward yes or no questions. Question 1 needed us to use one of the main features of Education Edition. Element Blocks. Representing everything from hydrogen to the extremely <laughs> radioactive element Toganesid, in cubic block form. Question 1 asks if any two atoms of the same element are the same. And as you can see here, they look the exact same. So yes, can water stay liquid below freezing temperature? As demonstrated here, water will stay at liquid even when surrounded by frozen objects. And question 3. Can you light diamonds on fire? The answer is yes. We thought this test was going to be easy. But little did we know, everything would go wrong. And since Minecraft is basically real life but extremely simplified, even basic questions become an absolute nightmare to figure out. The fourth question confused us. How do we prove this in Minecraft? We would need to get creative. Alcohol is liquid. Liquid is potion. Brain affecting conditions are basically status effects. So if we simplify this question, it is asking how many potions do we have to drink until something bad happens single came up with the answer of 5. I thought it was 1. So we took the average. 5 plus 1, divided by 2, is 3 according to calculus. So 3 potions. The next question was how can glass be a liquid if it is so hard? We were about to overthink this. But sometimes underthinking is the better way. Because we noticed that glass is not even a liquid. Question 6. How do we avoid eating acid? We just ate random things and tested which foods gave us negative effects. Because acid is dangerous to eat. Therefore, spider eyes, raw chicken, and rotten flesh are acid. Question 7 and 8 would require a bit more chemistry. How were we supposed to know how plants get their nitrogen in educational Minecraft? We decided to visualize this problem. First we got a sapling and nitrogen blocks. We were placing them around randomly when we had a sudden realization aka an epiphany. There is nitrogen in the air. Therefore, plants get nitrogen from the air. Question 8. How does dissolving salt molecules in water make it ionized? For this we just made a model of salt combining with water molecules. So the answer to question 8 is this low quality screenshot of ionized salt water. As the test continued. We slowly realized that many of these questions were trick questions. Question 9 asks why campfire flames are orange? And we answered with the fire is already orange. We were not sure how to deal with question 10 so we said that we don't know. Question 11 asks why the ocean is blue when it reflects the sky. Even though the ocean is naturally blue no matter what is above the ocean. Question 12 and 13 took the longest because these questions were quite vague and confusing. We knew what a physical and chemical change was in real life but we could only use items in Minecraft Education Edition to find the answer. And after 5 minutes of discussion, we found the answer. The answer was I don't know. We were going to say I don't know for the next question, but we decided to say a random Minecraft item for a small chance that it would be correct. Attention everyone! 
If we explained how we solved every problem in full detail, this video would be longer than the stiliferous era of the universe. So we will do a quick summary of the rest of the problem. What made the hole in the ozone go away? Fill command. What makes a fluorescent highlighter marker so bright? Night vision. When does the breaking of chemical bonds release energy? Igniting TNT. When hang drying clothes, is it faster indoors or outdoors? Indoors. Which sunscreens are chemical free? The answer is none. Why are crystals rare? They don't naturally generate. Why are there so many different kinds of forces in chemistry? This question was skipped because it was a confusing question. Why do atoms always contain the same amount of electrons and protons? Because atoms make up everything. The next problem was the hardest. Why doesn't the planet Uranus explode if it contains so much hydrogen and methane? Because there is no redstone block in Uranus. Why don't objects fuse to my finger when I touch them? We didn't know how to answer so we just said that objects don't fuse to fingers. Why is ice slippery? Um, because ice physics lololol. Why is lead used in pencils even though lead is poisonous? Lead is not poisonous because you can hold it and you will not die. And we skipped the last three questions because there was nearly no way to answer them in Minecraft. Now for the moment we have all been waiting for. How much did we score on this test? While these answers may seem terrible, not all is lost. Because this entire test was basically just a bunch of trick questions. And answers such as this, were actually correct. Several other answers simply said, it depends, so I gave half credit to some of the problems I did. In the end, the final score I got, was 25%. An F minus minus. Therefore, Minecraft Education Edition is not educational. Or is it? Because Education Edition isn't just about chemistry. It has several playable maps each focusing on a different topic. And we were going to try, history. Speaking of history, new historical evidence shows that ancient Roman emperor known as Julius Caesar was subscribed to I go by lots of names. Please subscribe for more awesome and insane top 10 lists. Anyways back to Minecraft Education Edition. While browsing through the history lessons, this Pompeii map caught my eye. It was now time to learn all about volcanoes and the event known as the Pompeii eruption. But as it turns out, most of the info about volcanoes came from links to other websites outside of Minecraft. And Wikipedia is not Minecraft. To begin the eruption, I had to get this robot thing to run some code. And I had to say the magic word, eruption. And the volcano erupted. As you can see here, ash is now falling everywhere. Followed by the average volcano stuff. This is the most educational thing in the world. I now know everything about Pompeii. And what better way to test this knowledge, than to take a quiz about Pompeii. Number 1. What crops were grown in Pompeii? After reviewing the CCTV security footage of the Minecraft Pompeii incident, I determined, it was wheat. Number 2. What disaster were the Pompeianians expecting? As you can see here, there is a giant volcano. So the answer is quite obvious. What empire did the city of Pompeii belong to? Judging by the themed objects on the walls of the world, and this giant teapot, this is Roman. Why was the city of Pompeii popular among Romans? There is nothing in the map that could have answered this question so I will go with all of the above. Number 5 was obvious. Number 6 could also be found out by looking at the map. And I guessed on number 7 and 8. Number 9 was quite tricky. But judging from the live reaction of the Pompeii citizens during the eruption, they seemed to not care about the eruption, therefore, they were very prepared. And the final question. I chose this answer because even when the average temperature rose to fatal amounts, the citizens stayed in the solid state of matter, proving that they are immortal and invincible. So the answer is this. Now for the result. 50% and 20% came from the two questions I guessed on things were not looking so good. But we were going to give Education Edition one final chance. In the World War I map. But I was disappointed once again. Most of the information comes from these NPCs giving you links to articles outside of Minecraft. So most of the education does not happen in the game. 
Overall, we do not need Minecraft to learn stuff. It's good for modeling stuff, digital skills, communication even though your classmates are sitting next to you and you can talk to them in real life, and for grabbing the attentions of elementary school kids who freak out when Swedish three-dimensional sandbox game. But other than that, there isn't much else in the game that gives you knowledge about the real world. Case closed. Thanks for watching. And as always, shout out to the members of this channel.